So we're going to take an in-depth look at how one schedules a meeting that requires a registration. It's not quite as straightforward as we were led to believe. It's still not terrible, but you have to know what to do. And the main thing to know is you can't do it the way you normally schedule a meeting through the typical meeting interface. You have to go into the web browser and use that meeting scheduler in order to schedule a meeting with it that requires registration. So here's the normal interface that we get. I've opened up a meeting that already existed, and I want to try and edit it and add a registration to it. You'll see when I click on edit, I get this screen. And, and so certainly I can edit the meeting, and this is what I would get if I was creating a meeting. So it's really the same thing. And you'll see that nowhere on here is there a place to uh, do a registration. If I click on advanced options, I get another screen. And once again, there's no opportunity to require a registration. All sorts of other things are there, but not requiring a registration. So a couple of different ways of getting here, but here's probably the easiest. If you go to your Zoom page, your Zoom uh, app rather, and uh, select settings, you'll get you'll get brought to here. And then what you want to do is click down below where it says view more settings. That will take you to this web page. Um, and what I have done is clicked on meetings here. So I, I saved one step over in the left. And here's all the meetings that I have upcoming right now. Um, I've blurred them out so we don't get too much uh, exposed there. But you see, I have a lot of meetings scheduled. And if I wanted to schedule a meet, new meeting, this is where I would do it. But the process is the same when you edit a meeting, so I want to show it to you that way. So this is the meeting I'm going to edit. Magidut practice for next June. Um, and so I will click on the link there and it will take me to that meetings page. You can see there is a join URL and it is just a join the meeting URL. This particular meeting doesn't have a password yet. It will before I'm through, uh, but not in this instruction. And you can see once again, uh, there's no particular place that you can see to um, invite uh, to require a registration. So what I want to do is go down and edit the meeting. OK, so when I click on edit the meeting, I'm, the screen opens up a little bit. And now suddenly I have this thing called registration and I can check required. And that's where we finally get the opportunity to work on the, the registration for this. So I'm going to check on uh, I'm going to check the required box and um, then I'm going to go down to the bottom of that page and press save. Uh, that will then take me back to the same page, but now you see there's a whole new green bar of, available there. It wasn't there before, and it says invite attendees. And this is the registration link that you're going to send. Uh, to people in order to register. Now notice you can copy it over to the right. And the key thing here, I've blurred out the actual meeting ID, but notice that register is part of the link. It wasn't on the link before. And that's kind of your clue that if you don't see register in the link that you're sharing, you're not asking them to register for the meeting. You're um, just uh, sending them the link to the meeting, and that can get confusing. If I view on that copy the meeting invitation, then here's what will be sent to people. Um, and you'll see there will be a link that they can click on that will allow them to register. Um, once I've okayed that, now I scroll down to the bottom of the page and you see there's some more things I can do around registration. Uh, at the beginning, I can see how many people have registered for that. None yet, but once they're there, I can view them off to the right. Um, and these are the options I had already set up for registration. I don't get an email every time somebody registers. I don't close the registration after the meeting date, but I do show the opportunity for people to share on um, social share if I, if I want. Um, I'm going to look instead at the branding page, the branding button. 
And you see, I've got two opportunities here to upload either a banner or a logo, and I do both. Uh, for And this will happen on any meetings of this sort. I'll show you how you make that happen. You can see in there, there's certain uh, requirements as to what size the each of the two graphics should be. I suggest use, using their suggested um, dimensions. And once I've uploaded them, you can see there are my two, uh, the, the banner and the logo. Um, and that's fine. So then I'll just uh, click to save and go on. One of the things you can do is send a preview email. So I'm going to send that preview, preview email. And here's what the person will get. Um, you'll get, they'll get the link to join on. If there was a password, the password would be there and um, all the ways of dialing in by phone if they want to do that. So this is, uh, this is the email that the recipients will get. Now, the one thing I should mention is that you've only changed it for this meeting. What you really want to do is not have to go through all this again every time. So you want to go back and click on um, Save as a Meeting Template. And then once you click on that, you'll be given this dialog that tells you that uh, it'll save all those settings for uh, what you want for registration. In other words, the, the banner, the logo, those sorts of things. And you can save it as a template. I just save it as registration required. Now, you still have to go through the beginning process. You still have to go to that uh, web-based scheduler in order to get to the meeting dialog. But once you do that, you'll be invited to use a template if one exists. So it's a little more work than we thought it would be. Uh, it's not a terrible amount of work. And frankly, once you get used to it, it's not so bad. But honestly, if you didn't know to look for it, I don't think you would have found it. So there you go, how to schedule a meeting that requires registration in Zoom. Thanks. And if you like these tutorials, please do consider uh, a visit to my tip jar, paypal.me slash Jim Brulé. Thanks again. Bye-bye.